Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Alex, and we are back with another reaction video. And, of course, it's something I haven't actually gone back to in a long, long time. Like, for a while now, actually. Because I've been, like, way too busy with everything else and, you know, trying to get everything else, like, ready and stuff. And you know what I mean. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, today we are back to looking at some more fictional characters collide. And today... It's going to be kind of an interesting one, and one that I will say is kind of confusing, to be honest, if I'm going to be, be completely honest. Today, we're taking a look at a... Uh, gosh, I got tongue-tied. We're looking at a battle between Iron Fist and Lucario. Yeah. Very, very strange um, matchup pairing that we got here for this video. I assume because, like, they're both, like, masters of martial arts, that's probably why the pairing is here. That That's my only, like, theory to why this pairing is happening, or this battle is happening for this video. Something like that. I guess we'll find out once we actually get into the video. But, without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, let's get started. Again, I'm not entirely sure why this pairing is happening for this video, or how we decided that it was going to be a battle between these two. Again, working on the theory that because they're both masters of, like, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat and martial arts. Though, to be fair, Lucario is more, like, a master of, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat than, like, martial arts. And he's more powerful with the aura and everything. Is that probably a reason? Because they have both, like, aura-type attacks and everything and powers. I don't know, but anyway, let's not waste any time and jump right into the battle of Iron Fist versus Lucario and see how things go. I mean, we'll see how things go. I don't know why I said that twice. Anyway, I forgot to do the countdown, but let's just get started. Of course, we always got to start off with this awesome intro. Plus, I may have to fix my chair because I'm kind of out of frame here a bit. One second. All right, sorry, had to make myself, you know, a lot better because apparently my chair was crooked for some uh, weird, odd reason. But yeah, should look a little better now and I should be still kind of in frame except with my arm because I have to always like press play and pause whenever I can like for the video. But let's just get started. Ah, the art of fighting. We have discussed many characters on this show. Who okay. Who easily become very <laughs> super powerful jackass. Who wants to be the best of the best? Well, I mean, to be fair, when you're showing that, I would assume that you, Vegeta, would be the only one that would, you know, play dirty when it comes to martial arts. Danny Rand, Marvel's own marvelous master of the Iron Fist. And Lucario, the Sinnoh region's very own aura Pokemon. Nice. And it's our job to analyze these characters to the fullest computer peaks and falls to see what happens when these two fictional characters collide. Danny Rand, a simple kid at first. But one ship of his family and his father's work partner <laughs> Nice use of like the snow effect right there. Family to a ship like this to see something highly important in the future. It's more weird that his father's business partner Harold was part of mm. as well. Doesn't seem too bad until Harold. Oh yeah, totally does not look evil. And of course he does a common trope of, you know, betraying the ones he cares about, or at least you know, pretends to care about. Yeah, this is kind of more fucked up when you look mm. at it too long. But after getting a two-for-one deal with dead parents, Danny was taken in by the people his father was going to bring them to. You see, he was actually a member of a town called Kilo. Yeah, I also got to say, that's a little dark to know in a Marvel comic that, like, your mother gets eaten by wolves. Ugh, that was just straight up dark. To many, they train to protect and better themselves, but not Danny. From the start, he got better at fighting for one thing, the idea of revenge. And this guy was trained to everything needed. He knows judo, aikido, pressure point combat, muay thai, karate, and nice. And when the time came, he had so pretty much like Batman with like master special challenge to face to defeat a special. He fought a dang dragon. Two hands. And what did he do? Oh, he thought bear hugging Bro. was the best choice of action. This dude's hardcore. After knocking the dragon out, he plunged his hand into the cauldron that contained its heart, got a really nice dragon tattoo on his chest, and donned the mm. name of the legendary dragon warrior, the Iron Probably Man. the weirdest way to be initiated into a, a gang. Okay, that voice sounds familiar. Who is that? 
I like the fact that they give for his bio that he works at a soup kitchen, or just runs it, basically. That's funny, but it's awesome. I don't know who, vo what voice that was, because it sounded familiar. You can't just throw away years of planning for revenge. Archer, if I ever found the guy who cut in line at the supermarket last week, make sure I don't hesitate what? to kill. Whatever you say, buddy. Okay, demon, relax. More than just martial arts. It seems the people of Kanlu have also worked in the art of chi. While chi is usually a concept of life and inner peace, in Kamup world, it's made to do superhuman powers. With chi, Iron Fist has enhanced strength. Sensu mm. can shoot chi-based beams of death, use hypnosis, and can heal himself with ease. It can even absorb other forms of life energy to power himself up. Alongside that, he can focus his chi into his fist for devastating attacks. When he has the Book of the Iron Fist that's passed down to all Iron Fists, he can create the portals for teleportation, and at one point he was able to shoot mean fire dragons. You know, for a guy who's basically a one-man okay. and summon cool fire That is actually dope. Yeah, but you'll do, really. He's nice enough to even start a cool shizu kitchen when he isn't kicking butt alongside his own pals. And when he focuses his power into his very own fists, it allows oh, him nice. to do great things. He kept up with Spider-Man, who we originally... Apparently he likes to block bullets like Wonder Woman. ...someone whose mental powers are comparable to earthquakes. Not only that, he was able to survive the this volcano erupting, which we have counted before. And it was around 24 kilotons of TNT. But that's nothing mm. when you can focus your chi so much it can damage the thing. Again, I like the fact that they, like, do measurements of, like, you know, how powerful an energy burst or an attack would be. Because it's exactly like... Uh, dead. Uh, I can't even think of it. Death battle. I was about to say that's exactly how death battle does it. I mean, I don't know if half of the words that they say are actual words, but you guys, let me know in the comment section down below if they're like actual words that are like used. <laughs> wow. All right. Again, I'm still kind of confused on the whole fact of how these two are, like, you know, paired up against each other. Unless, and I could be wrong about this, it's because that now they probably both, like, share the same, like, powers and everything. I mean, technically, to be fair, I think Chi and Aura are kind of, like, the same thing. They kind of like the same, like, life-flowing energy that lives inside of, like, all living things and everything. Kind of like the Force, I guess. Although, to be fair, the Force is, like, you know, just a mythical thing. And then again, the prequel says it's just midichlorians and everything, and which is kind of stupid when you think about it. But anyway, I'm not f focusing on that. We're focusing on Chi and Aura for two different characters. Again, I could be completely wrong, but I guess we'll just have to find out through, like, these, like, videos about, like, or just these, like, info about the characters and everything. I like the fact that he just Naruto ran. One trainer to form a close bond with. And once they decide to bond between them and a trainer is strong enough, they involve mm. into the aura. Safe to say that like a young Riolu does not like pets. Lucario are a loyal and powerful fighting steel type Pokemon who've been used by several powerful trainers such as Cornina, Ash Ketchum, Riley, and Cynthia. Oh god no. Oh yeah. Um the music. The flashbacks. Y you okay, demon? Back. Well, that can't be good. Well, the Lucario race are mainly a physical fighting species. Using moves like force bomb that sends the enemy oh. down with a simple thrust. He can boost his strength with sword stance and work up. Make enemies' defense go down with It's crazy that he's able to know like metal claw and everything. He can heal himself with heal pulse and life dupe. He can hurt enemies with metal claw with a chance of making them stronger. And if he gets hurt, he can double the damage back with counter. As well as combine, which makes his special even more powerful than Sorry, my nose is like a little bit stuffed up. He's a jackal demon. Still part of the canine family. Whatever. Then there are some of his more devastating moves. Meteor Mash has the user smash into the foe with the force of a meteor. Oh! A massive bone weapon. Oh yeah, I can't forget that. Dragon Pulse makes the user so not only is he like a master of martial arts, he's also a master of like you know weaponry and everything. which does double damage. Even though the weapons are basically just like bone themed. So there is kind of a drawback to that one move that he's using, 
Ooh, dang! Lucario just straight up went to Pokemon and just say, catch these hands. every living thing possesses. But Lucario is the only Pokemon to use that power and weaponize it. Before, it can dodge attacks while blindfolded, read minds, read an opponent's movement, sense emotions. It can even boost the po Lucario's power in a pinch. Mm -hmm. as well as it's that crazy that the aura is like that powerful. And of course... The almighty aura sphere. Yeah, the aura sphere. Well, yes, other Pokemon can learn it. And none can fire him off like a Lucario. This attack is a ball of pure aura itself, which can yeah. be fired off in a blast of pure destruction. Lucario's are so good at it that one in particular used it to counter a Registeel's Hyper Beam, which is a I mean, even though it didn't really hit any of the Reggie monsters, or sorry, Reggie Pokemon. I gotta keep almost forgetting that like they're called pocket monsters as well in like different languages. They can even be compared to the mighty Machamp. In the Pokédex, it's been stated that Machamp can punch over the horizon, punch a thousand <laughs> times in a couple of seconds. It can move mountains with a single arm. Hell, stronger Pokémon than the Machamp, such as the Tyranitar, Lily decimates mountains. The only time in the world of Pokémon that we would ever get a Godzilla-like Pokémon. Well, the Tyranitar part is likely due to it being four times weak to funny type moves. Beating a mini <laughs> just smack me like, get out of here. Oh. It also helps that Lucario's are far from slow. <laughs> <laughs> I love that run of his. Lasers that are described as pure sunlight, meaning you'd have to be moving at least the speed of light to avoid it. If you want power, then we'll show you real power. In Pokemon Tournament, Lucario can fight and even... I still have yet to play this game, but I want to. But not only is this is a power of form of Mewtwo, one of the strongest Pokemon to ever exist, not only was it in its mega form, but it also was able to do uh, this. I mean, what, it's crazy. On. Now I kind of want to see a death battle version of, of like Lucario versus Mewtwo. Enough to blow up a large planet. And while yes, Pokémon is technically a spin-off and not canon, Pokémon. <laughs> oh gosh. Mainline Pokémon lore, such as Machamp's 1,000 punches and Gardevoir's original Black Hole Dex entry, making this usable. Sorry, one second. All right. Uh, sorry, I had to just uh, go deal with something real quick. And plus, you know, I had to sneeze and everything. Got to wipe everything down. Uh, but yeah, now we're officially ready to start this. Um, this is actually going to be tough to think, though. This honestly really is going to be tough to think because both of them kind of have like this almost the same abilities. But to be fair... I don't know. Uh, they kind of have the same abilities, strengths. Kind of both have the same speed down a little bit. I mean, Lucario might actually be a little bit faster. You know, definitely, I think, in my opinion, Lucario would probably, you know, win the speed category for this fight. I don't know about much of the strength, though. But, you know, I'm going to have to go with my gut and, you know, basically go with Lucario winning this fight. I mean, again, I could be wrong. I've had, like, my fair share of, like, being really bad at guessing who could win the fight. I would be happy if, like, you know, Iron Fist won or something, but I'm going with my gut and saying Lucario's going to take the win on this. Could be wrong again. I've, I've had that bad track record. But, you know, we're just going to have to, like, see what happens. Kind of hoping Lucario actually pulls out the win on this. Oh, this actually looks like a nice place. Really would be a shame if it got wrecked up during the fight. Oh, there's Lucario. What up? I'll handle this. All right, we starting. Oh, I guess we are. Oh, oh, dang. Oh yeah, they're both equally fast in this. This actually could be a no contest right here. Oh, oh, there he goes using that bone staff. Oh. Oh. Oh, dang. Using it against him a bit. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. He's going to have to, like, step up his game a bit. That was a sick way for him to push off and go against him. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, he's focusing. Ooh. Oh, dang! Oh. Oh, he's getting another one. 
Oh, that was sick. Oh! He's gotta stay like, oh gosh, I was about to say, he had to like stay focused for this fight. Oh, yeah. Bust up his eardrums. Oh, that didn't go too well. So far, it's like very evenly matched. Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh that was nice. Oh. Teleporting, apparently. We should call you a zero for hire. This actually... Yeah, safe to say this is evenly matched so far. Oh, that was sick. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, yeah, he got ripped up after that. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, he took a beating right there. Oh, this is not going to go well. Oh! Like a samurai duel right here. Ah! Is he going to kill him? Work as one. Hey! Sign of respect right there. I will so I guess return. this is a draw. That's nice. Sign of respect, man. Where's the bloodshed? So I'm guessing now these two are going to be bros from now on. That's really crazy. Again, it definitely was evenly matched in that fight. I didn't even notice that like Lucario had that like whole force heal kind of thing. Or I'm guessing you could call it like an aura heal, I guess. With stuff like hypnosis, he can easily confuse Lucario, or if he wants to, he can just teleport Lucario somewhere else with the Book of the Iron Fist. I mean, they did say he was, like, kind of weak against, like, you know, other fighting types. So, again, I can see the point of, like, it being, like, kind of like an even match there. But still. Basically giving Iron Fist all the spare power he needs to always be ahead in power. So while Iron Fist gets stronger, Lucario would be getting weaker. It was an awesome fight, I'll tell you that right now. It was, it was definitely top tier awesome. Has shown they are a worthy opponent for sure, but thanks to Danny's skill, slightly higher that last bit right there was like a samurai duel. Needs to pull off a victory. You can say the jackal got Lucario. <laughs> oh my gosh, demon! Becoming sad, and you used to say I had bad puns. Eh, I get you to call that iron. <laughs> The winner is Iron Fist. All right, there we go, guys. That was my reaction to the fictional characters collide, Iron Fist versus Lucario. To be fair, though, if I'm going to be completely honest, I feel like that was more of a no contest draw situation more than Iron Fist winning. I mean, he won the samurai duel part that they did, but didn't really end with, like, either of them getting killed. In fact, I'm going to say, I like that how it ended with him showing a sign of respect to Lucario, saying, that, like, yeah, you're honestly incredibly strong, and, you know, I, I've never fought a wor more worthy opponent than you. So he had that sign of respect. I do hope they come back and we get, like, a team-up battle with them going against maybe, like, someone on their side of, like, rivals and everything. You know, I mean, like, maybe, like, Lucario versus one of, like, Danny's, like, you know, vi uh, villains and everything. Again, I know his real name is, like, Danny Rand, and he's going by the cover Iron Fist. But, yeah, I mean, if they come back for maybe, like, a team-up battle in another season, if they do another season of this, I'd be excited to see it. But in my mind, I think that was a complete draw for the fight. I mean, I could have probably called this a draw, but then I didn't know what was going to happen, so... Yeah. Anyway, with that being said, thank you all for watching this video, and to be fair, I probably need to start reacting to more, like, fictional characters collide and everything. I know they're currently working on a team battle next, and I'm excited to see for, like, Ruby versus TMNT. I think that's the next one that they're doing. I could be wrong on that. Uh, but also, there's a preview I saw at the end of for their next fight after this one, which was going to be Link versus the Tarnished from, uh, gosh, I, I keep forgetting if it's Elden Rings or, you know, Elder Scrolls. Or, sorry, not Elder Scrolls, but um, Dark Souls, basically. Uh, I can't even think. I think he's from Elden Ring. I could be wrong on that. 
But anyway, uh, that is definitely one I'm looking forward to watching if I can, like, find the video of it. Again, with that being said, thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to never, uh, to never miss a video. And with that, I will see all you awesome guys and gals later. Bye-bye!